Hey guys, it's John, here to talk to you about YouTube and age restrictions, an issue that has been much discussed in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, depending on when this video goes up. A lot of you may be here because you saw my friend Corey X Kenshin make a video on this very topic. However, this video that I'm making is going to be talking about age restrictions in a bit more broad and general sense because uh, there are some issues with it that aren't covered in Corey's video. Corey's video, I'll summarize it for you. I would I would definitely recommend watching it though. Talks about a more specific circumstance with uh, him being treated unfairly by YouTube. And in this video, I'm gonna be concentrating more on what age restrictions are, how they affect the video that gets age restricted, uh, what seems to be triggering these new age restrictions that have been going around, and uh, what I think YouTube should do about it. Uh, but real quick, I'm gonna summarize Corey's video because it did get millions of views. Uh, Corey had a Mortuary Assistant gameplay video that he uploaded that got age restricted. And this naturally surprised Corey because Typically on YouTube, the content that's in the Mortuary Assistant video wouldn't be the type of content to get age restricted. So he tried to get it removed and YouTube basically came back and said, no, it's staying in place. And then he was like, okay, okay. Well, uh, I noticed Markiplier has a Mortuary Assistant video up with the exact same content that's in my video and his video isn't age restricted. And YouTube came back and said, Oh, really? My bad. And they took his age restriction off his video because I guess they needed an example um, of another person that didn't get it. That, that's basically the summary of uh, what happened. Um, Corey has some great points to make in the video. I would encourage you to watch it, like I said. But uh, there's clearly favoritism at work on YouTube, but there's more problems with these age restrictions than uh, individual favoritism and uh, things of that nature that are discussed in that video. Because this age restriction ramp up has actually been happening for several months site-wide and it has been specifically targeting people who play horror games, which people that play horror games typically aren't gonna make big viral Twitter posts about it, so you may not have heard about it, but I'm happy to to give a little more context to these because it's been going on for, I would say about three to six months now. There was some change in policy over at YouTube. They've gotten a lot more aggressive with these age restrictions and there seem to be only a few things that can trigger it. So first of all, what is an age restriction? What does it mean? You may not know what it means in the context of YouTube. So if a video gets age restricted, it means that it's considered 18 plus content by YouTube. So adult only, rated R, right? Uh, and that means that in order to watch the video, you have to be signed into an account on YouTube with your age listed as 18 or older. Uh, so that means that if you don't have an account or if you're watching a YouTube video embedded on another site, you're unable to do so. It cuts down on all traffic on a video uh, outside of the parent site, YouTube. Not only that, it will blur the thumbnail, which I think is kind of hilarious, because like even if there's nothing in the thumbnail that's inappropriate, it will blur the thumbnail. This is something new that's happened. They didn't used to do this with age-restricted videos, but it will blur the thumbnail. Uh, it'll blur the thumbnail, it'll take away embeds, and you won't be able to watch it without signing in, as well as it will not run ads on the video, so the YouTuber won't make any money off of the age-restricted video. It also suppresses it and the algorithm and makes it less likely uh, for people to see it pop up because why would YouTube push a video that a lot of people who aren't signed in or aren't over 18 can't watch, right? So basically it is a algorithm death sentence. Like if you get a video age restricted, A, you're not making any money off of that anymore. B, uh, like it's not going to get nearly the same traffic. It's going to go down to a small trickle, which for big YouTubers especially, that's an issue. Uh, if you're maybe a smaller channel with a more dedicated audience that's not really getting put in the algorithm as much, you may not notice a difference with age-restricted videos because people are all signed into their accounts, they're coming directly to your channel, they're watching the video, right? But for mid-range to bigger channels, this is a big deal because every video that this happens to, you basically chalk up as a loss for your business. Now, I'm not against the idea of age restricting videos. I think that there's plenty of content on YouTube that could use that 18 plus stamp on it. However, <laughs> these new age restrictions are specifically targeting things that are happening in horror games. And uh, like I said, it hasn't been discussed much publicly 
Uh, but I have been talking about it a lot with a lot of my fellow horror channels over the last few months. It's been going on, we've been trying to theorize, like, what exactly are we getting dinged for? Because when you get these age restrictions, YouTube is completely incommunicado about anything that, that any content that's getting um, age restricted in the video. I, I can show you emails. Every time I get an email about an age restriction, if they basically say, this doesn't necessarily violate any guidelines, we don't know what, we can't tell you what content is in it that we don't approve of, but it's probably inappropriate for younger audiences, so we're gonna age restrict it. And then when you appeal it, they basically come back with zero information again, and they say, no, uh, we've decided it's not appropriate for younger audience. And you might sit there like, well, what was it? What did I get age restricted for? Because you're not getting any information about YouTube. So the only source that you can turn to are other creators. And here's some of the things that uh, I've learned that seem to be pretty reliable sources for a lot of these new age restrictions that have been going around the past few months. I got three age restrictions for my Quarry videos, Quarry Part 3, 4, and 5. Um, I got an age restriction on my Madison Part 3, that one happened a couple weeks after it went up, and most recently, I got an age restriction on my Mortuary Assistant Part 2 video. Mysteriously, not Part 1 yet, but I would not be surprised with the way things have been going if I get an email very soon that that one's age restricted as well. Uh, so that's five out of my last 25 videos. One out of every five videos of the past couple months have been age restricted. So here's some of the things that I've found that seem to cause this. And I talked about this a little bit in my Madison playthrough. Number one, decapitation. YouTube hates this. This is what happened in my quarry playthrough and all three videos that featured something like that uh, were age restricted and it was a hard age restrict I appealed did not have any luck. And this does not seem to discriminate between whether it's gameplay footage or real life. If it's a real life decapitation, obviously should be age restricted, right? But uh, in a video game, you know, I, at first when I saw these, I was like, I don't know about that. But then I was like, yeah, you know, I guess, you know, with realistic graphics, somebody getting their their head taken clean off, that's probably, that's probably fair. That's probably R-rated content. Okay, I get it. So that's one thing that you can get age restricted for pretty reliably. The second one is just dismemberment. Um, if there's any dismembered limbs of any kind floating around or like, uh, you know, I'm not gonna test this, but like amnesia, you just come across, amnesia the dark descent, you just come across like a pile of body parts. That's the type of thing that uh, also gets age restricted. And I haven't seen that as much, but it's something that uh, would explain a couple of my age restrictions and a couple of other YouTubers' age restrictions that uh, we've talked about behind the scenes. Number three, and this seems to be the case for the Mortuary Assistant specifically, any hanging bodies with a noose or any kind of implication that they uh, self-harmed. That seems to be uh, one that the age restrictions are coming at really aggressively. A lot of people told me that on my latest Mortuary Assistant video, they had to consent to watching suicidal content. And to characterize that video as having suicidal content, I think is a little bit disingenuous. But this is what happens when bots automatically make all the decisions. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely another way that you can get dinged for age restrictions. It seems to be things in that vein. Self-harm, hanging bodies, decapitations, dismemberments, things like that. Even if it's in gameplay footage, that can get your content age restricted. And that's a big problem for horror game channels because, I mean, you can't walk five feet in the average horror game without seeing a body hanging from a noose or a silhouette or something like that of that happening. And just that is enough to get your video age restricted now. Now, it's about here where I draw the line because I believe having played through the Mortuary Assistant nine times and seeing all the content within it, I would strongly advocate for this being a PG-13 game. I don't believe that there's any reason to give this game an 18 plus R rating. The most that had, there's, there's a little bit of drug use in the game. There's a little bit of self-harm and suicide, but it's not a primary focus of the game, um, and it's the type of thing that you would see in any PG-13 horror film, is what the standard I'm using to call it PG-13 content. Why would they age restrict 
something like that, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of new international pressure because I believe, you know, even though they are an American company, YouTube, uh, there's may maybe in other cultures and other countries that this is a little bit more of an extreme than uh, from my American perspective, I'm not sure. But I've seen many, many horror films with uh, a body hanging from a noose. Um, and that's another reason why the, the Madison Part 3 video that I mentioned that I uploaded, that got age-restricted for the same reason. Even though, in the game, um, there is, there is a hanging, but it, it doesn't result, uh, well, it's up to interpretation whether it results in death or not. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> that's, uh, getting off on a rabbit trail. So those are the things that seem to be causing these age restrictions, even though I don't agree, and a lot of other creators don't agree, and I'm sure many of you don't agree, that it's... 18 plus content. So that's what age restrictions are, how they affect the video, and what can trigger them. Now what do I think YouTube needs to do about this? Well first of all, any communication at all would be appreciated. Any communication! Because like I said, when we get these emails about these age restrictions, we're left with no reason why. When we appeal and it's denied, no reason why. And even when the age restrictions are lifted, like Corey explained in his video, there's no reason given. There's no reason given for why the bots, and we all know that they're bots. I don't know how many of us are really, how many of us are really buying this human review manual, manual submission type of thing. It's just not, it doesn't make any sense uh, why someone would like look at some of these videos and be like, yep, 18 plus, bam. Um, and if they are, I would like to speak to them because I think we have very different ideas of that. And if it's even if it is human reviewers, then it's all left up to their subjective whims because YouTube does not have um, policies for these age restrictions that are consistent with what has been getting age restricted. If you look at the at what they say, um, on the policies for age restrictions or why they age restrict videos, there's plenty of bullet points. There's plenty of um, things that they can draw on when they restrict your video as reasons why it was restricted. But the problem is, is that we're not getting any of those reasons for these age restrictions. So it seems like the system is just kind of running amok and doing its own thing. And I think it needs to be pulled back a little bit, maybe a lot. I, I don't have a problem with age restrictions, like I said, because I believe that there is a lot of content on YouTube that could be given the 18 plus treatment, but at least be consistent because right now, it seems to be specifically targeting horror game content, which you could argue this shoe has been waiting to drop for a long time. I mean, some of the stuff in Outlast, I don't see how that's not age restricted on this website. I mean, if you've ever seen Outlast Whistleblower, it's like, I can just upload this to YouTube and nothing happens. I might get some limited ads. But I believe that this is too much of an overcompensation the other direction. So, those are my thoughts on uh, age restrictions uh, and giving more information for you guys about uh, what has been happening and uh, what I think needs to be done. Not that they're ever going to listen to me. If they don't listen to somebody with 10 million subscribers, they're not going to listen to somebody with not even 1 million, you know? But, you know, I do want to also emphasize this has been happening for, this has been escalating for months now. I remember six months ago, a fellow Dead by Daylight content creator messaged me about a video that they uploaded with um, a Dead by Daylight killer using a Mori on a survivor, and it got age restricted. Twice, two different videos. And I remember at the time thinking like, that's weird, if you appeal it should go away, because that's the type of thing that doesn't get age restricted on YouTube. And I remember they had a lot of difficulty with it, and I remember being like, that's really weird, I wonder, it seems like they're kind of targeting their channel. And then as the months wore on, myself and a lot of other uh, more general horror game channels were getting the same issues with games like The Quarry, Madison, and Mortuary Assistant in particular, the three biggest horror games that have come out this year. So, uh, it's been a problem. I think that the bots have been, my theory is that the bots have been learning the wrong direction and they've been learning to get more and more aggressive with the age restrictions and uh, they've just been kind of left to their own devices and the humans have not been involved and they really need to be. So, yeah, that's about all I had to say about the age restrictions. Just wanted to weigh in a little bit and give some more context and information uh, that this has been happening for a while and it's a problem that needs to be fixed. Uh, you may notice that a lot of your horror game favorites have been doing things like uh, cutting away 
uh, when there's like a particularly gruesome scene in a horror game now. I know my friend Mainly Badass Hero got his mortuary assistant video age restricted, which is odd because I noticed in his video he went out of his way to not show the noose in the scenes, in the cutscenes, because he knew that that might trigger the age restriction, but he got age restricted anyway. And so I don't really know what's going on over there with all that, but uh, getting pretty tired of it. So, you know, hope hope you can all understand if nothing happens, if nothing changes on YouTube side, that some of your favorite horror game uh, YouTubers may have to take some steps to censor their own videos. It's it's a shame, but, uh, you know, because like I said, the stuff in the Mortuary System specifically is like PG-13 content, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, there were warnings at the beginning of the video. I just kind of think uh, we should be allowed to kind of self-moderate for some of these things. All right, well, I kind of just rambled for like 15 minutes. I'm not sure. It'll probably get cut down to like 10. I don't know why. I There's nothing there. I don't know why I looked at my fake watch. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments section. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Think critically.